Hey, it's Chris. And today we're talking about iPhone home screen aesthetics. I don't know if you guys have picked up on this trend. People are going crazy customizing their iOS 14 iPhone home screens because of a new tweak that can happen in shortcuts. All right, does this look anything like an iPhone home screen to you? A little bit, but also kind of not, right? People are getting super creative though. Some people are making choices that look really good. Sometimes the choices are questionable. So if you wanna go old school Windows, I guess you could do that technically. <laughs> wow, that's actually a little bit nostalgic, you know? That's where I got started was on the old Hewlett Packard. But wow, people are definitely finding their own vibe here. I gotta say, this is an interesting thing. Apple knew that people could do this. They probably wanted to give the option so that hardcore people could do it if they wanted. So whatever thing that you're really into, you could be even more into that thing. These are all just some examples, by the way. I'll try to link them up down in the description so you can go check them out. I didn't make any of these. These aren't mine. But I think Apple also chose to do this in a way that it wasn't just super easy, like go into the app store and download a theme pack and get it installed without having to go app by app and kind of this shortcuts workaround because Apple wants their aesthetic for the iPhone by default, I think, to be really clean and just looking professional and good, like Apple wants it. When somebody thinks of an iPhone, Apple wants them to think like, wow, that's a polished, really amazing device. And now people can come in and sort of ruin it, you know? All right, so today I'm gonna show you how to do this, how to customize your home screen icons. Now here's what we're starting with. This is my current home screen right now. I've got some apps on the side, a few widgets here. It's pretty basic, straightforward, standard. If I swipe over, I got a music page here too with some SOAR widgets, S-O-O-R. I know I'm pronouncing that probably wrong. So I got my quick access to Holvi and some magic playlists and some favorite music. And then if I swipe over, I got my app drawer here with all my different apps that are auto-sorted. That's the default iOS 14 experience, right? That's what the average person is going to have. But if you aspire to not be average, which is a good thing, then you can find an icon pack or you can design your own icons for all your different apps. They're showing up on Etsy. Here's a sample Etsy page with a kind of a newspaper, black and white monochromatic theme. And that's just selling for less than $5. Not too crazy. I'm gonna be using some app icons that I got from ios14icons.com. Whoever owns that site, you're welcome for the shout out because you're probably about to get some traffic. Because there's two minimalistic, really nice, clean, straightforward icon packs on here. A dark icon set and then a light icon set. And these are each $6 for the download. So this site has a Gumroad store set up. So once you pay, this is what you get. You hit download, I already did that. So after the download from this particular site, I got two zip files here. And once I unzip that, I can come in and I can just see a list of all the icons that I've got here. So there's something for Chrome, Clock, Facebook, that's gonna go unused. Instagram, Lightroom. I'm glad to see Notion in here, that's cool. You got your basics like phone, photos, Photoshop, Reddit, Slack, Spotify, a lot of stuff here. Of course, one of the issues here is gonna be that whatever icon pack you buy, nobody's using the exact set of apps that you use. So unless you're designing something from scratch, you're probably gonna end up with a few apps that are your favorite that kind of get left out in the cold, that don't have a matching you know, shortcut icon. I gotta say, this designer did a great job with these icons. They're minimal, they're simplistic, they're straightforward, they look really good. So if you're looking for something that's just not run of the mill or kind of crappy, I think this is why I'm showing this on the video because this is a pretty decent pack here. And I'll just mention too, there are some free resources that you can find out there. If you don't wanna drop a couple bucks on this, you can go to Icons8, I'll link this up down below. They got some free icons that you can download, customize stuff as well. The key thing here, is that you're gonna go hit this plus up here and say add action. And then in the search area, I'm gonna type in open app and find this action here, open app. So then you're gonna see this option here to choose the app. And the first app I'm gonna do is Notion because I saw that there was an icon for that. And then I'm gonna come up here and tap the three dots and I'm gonna give this shortcut a name and I'm gonna call it Notion, obviously. Say add to home screen again. This is where the magic happens, this little icon right here. So if I go ahead and tap on that, I can say take photo, choose photo, or choose file. Now because of the icon pack that I'm using, I'm gonna hit choose file because I downloaded that zipped file. So the interface makes it really easy. I just search for icon. I got my two packs that I just downloaded right here. So I'm gonna choose from the dark set first. Here's all my icons I can browse through. There's my Notion icon. I'm gonna find it 
It's now switched and boom, there it is, living up in the top left-hand corner there and it's looking absolutely amazing. So now that's just been added to my third home screen here. And so now that you guys know the basics of how to get this set up, I'm just gonna go through and add a bunch of these in and then we'll pick a background and look at the before and after. It's gonna be mind blowing. Now here's something, I gotta pause here. I'm only three apps in, but I set up a camera icon. I was gonna just go straight to the iPhone camera, but I actually set this shortcut to open camera M, which is a third party app. So you can get extra creative here. There's layers upon layers of what you can customize. Now, of course, one thing that you're gonna notice as you're getting this set up, this does clutter up your actual shortcuts interface, but now you can put these in folders. So at least you can kind of organize them, keep them out of the way. All right, here's where I'm at so far. I got several apps added. I got my dock all squared away down here. The next step for me is to find a super minimal white background. And I'm just gonna use the Unsplash app here and do a search for white minimal and see what that brings up. Cause the thing is, I want the black icons to really pop and stand out. So this is gonna be the best bet for that. And honestly, this first result isn't bad. There's just so many to choose from, you know, you can't really go wrong. All right, so I found one I liked here, just really simple with some basic lines. So I'll just hit download on that. But I'm only gonna set the home screen cause I like the lock screen to be a little bit different. And wow, there we go, look at that pop. That is insane. You know who I feel like right now? Oliar. Yep. All right, so this is already looking amazing, but I'm not done yet. I wanna show you guys a widget, or actually I should say an app. It's not a widget, but it's an app that lets you make a widget called Widget Smith, and it lets you create a small, medium, or large widget and totally customize it. So I'm gonna come in here and add a medium widget. Okay, and you got several different customization options. I'm just looking for something really simple. So I'm gonna get this clock right here. And you can come in and customize all kinds of stuff like the font and everything, but I like that one. I'm just gonna leave it. You know what? No, 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 no. I'm gonna come with New York over here. That looks a little bit better. All right, so I got that all set up. That's gonna look good. So to add it, I'm gonna come in here in this blank space, just long press, come up here and hit this plus icon. Then I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom here and hit widget smith. Then it's just a matter of checking out which size that I want. So I created a medium, so that's what I'm gonna add. There it goes, and wow, that looks amazing. I could easily stick with that, but what it did was it stuck in the original widget that I had. So I'm gonna come in here and say edit widget and select the one that I customized, which was medium number one, and now it's looking exactly as I intended. And there you have it. That's how you can come in and jump in on this trend and have the best looking home screen out of anybody that you know or the worst. It's totally up to you and totally subjective as well. <laughs> wow though, have you ever seen an iPhone home screen look like this without a jailbreak? No. So, I mean, this isn't a perfect system. Obviously this looks really great here, but if you have anything else going on, things aren't gonna match quite as well, but this still looks good, you know, with my widgets and with that minimal background. And here's that default page that I had, you know, with my Lumi widget. People have been asking what this golden hour widget is. It's Lumi, L-U-M-Y. I got my reminders, I got my uh, Siri shortcut suggestions up here, which is saying view the album recents and photos. All very nice, very helpful, this still looks good, and actually these icons that I customized still look good with all these others here. But this look here is just pretty magical. That is something different, and I like it. Now something you guys gotta understand is that when you launch one of these, it's just gonna go into shortcuts and launch it. So, so it's not quite as clean as just using the actual app icon itself. You kind of get that intermediary step where it gets into shortcuts and then launches rather than just launching straight into your app. So yeah, is this just super trendy? Is it gonna blow over? I don't know. There's what it looks like. That's how it works. Now you know how to set it up. That's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what yours looks like on Twitter. I'm at Daily Tech Spell, Daily T-E-K-K. -K. You can also check me out on Instagram, same handle. And don't forget, you can check out the Daily Tech After Party every Friday. That's our podcast. I hope to catch you there. This was fun, but I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.